Well, we have Dr. Joe Landers here to answer your questions, and he has brought this adorable Chihuahua Yoda. Yoda. I are calling him Yoda. He, if he... If he'll put up his ears here in a second, he's a he's a nice little dog. He's a little submissive, so he puts his little ears down. And and uh, you're asking me, I, I he probably part terrier too. He's over at the adoption center. He's about eight months old. They say he got kind of run over by a car, but he got lucky because it just kind of went over him. He hunkered down uh, and it went right over. Hunkered the top down and went right over. I mean, sometimes as long as the tire doesn't hit you, you can. Uh, it's amazing. Cats and small dogs a lot of times will survive those okay. But uh, but he's a good little guy. He's very calm. He he, he played with the other dogs, but he's uh, and he's about eight months old which is great. He's just a, just a nice little he dog. He is so. such a calm little lap dog. Absolutely, he is. All he right. Is. Well, Yoda, you're going to be good here for these That's uh, right. next That's few right. minutes. We've got some questions from our viewers. This first question comes from Sherry. Why does my four-year-old long haired chihuahua become traumatized after grooming? It happens almost every time. Could she not like the perfume that they spray on her? Well, that's very possible. Uh, and then sometimes they're, a lot of times they're very submissive like this dog here, and they don't necessarily like to be messed with or anything. And, and, and really she needs to go over the personality of her dog with the veterinarian, because sometimes we'll have people that come in that, that you know, want to be groomed or whatever, or people or their dogs rather, excuse me. And, and, and they're very, very scared of stuff. And so we talk about how to lessen that and how to, how to, how to do those things, because yeah, a lot of times they'll get kind of nervous about stuff. There's some tranquilizers and things, actually some uh, uh, anti-anxiety medicine that you can give to make it kind of better. If you do see that they hate the perfume, just when you go into your veterinary next time, have them spray some perfume on and see kind of what happens. Mm -hmm. And if they hate that, then yeah, that's it. You'll you just stop doing that. Okay. Yeah. All right, our next question comes from Sally. My long haired chihuahua has gained a lot of weight after getting fixed. Is this normal? It's Chihuahua Day here. This is, is great. All this chihuahuas. Is great. Yeah, chihuahuas are wonderful. Uh, after after getting fixed, is this normal? Yes, uh, usually so because most of the time we get fixed around uh, around six months or so, and in that time period is kind of when you go from being say an adolescent when you were a teenager and you can eat anything you want into your twenties. Okay, and that is really your body going from a growing stage to a mature stage. It happens to everybody, by the way. I mean, <laughs> yeah. uh, some some people are the same weight as high school, but most of us, you know, are, are a little, little bit different. So really what you want to do is cut back on the food. Okay. Rule of thumb, one cup per 20 pounds per day per adult. So if you have a 10 pound dog, that's a half a cup of food okay. a day. So uh, a lot less than you think. A lot really. less than you think actually. Yeah, okay. absolutely. All right. Well, absolutely. we are out of time. Dr. Joe yeah, for questions. Thank you. thank you so much. If you're interested in adopting Yoda here, he needs a good home. You can call the adoption center at 918-794-6688. If you'd like to learn more about Heritage Animal Hospital, see some other pets who need homes or just watch this segment again. Go to our website, kjrh.com. Dr.